I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question. It is on rate of change application calculus. Ice cream cone is being filled at the rate of 4 cm cube per second. The cone has radius of 2 cm and height of 8 cm. Find the rate of change of height when the ice cream cone is half full. So let's try to find relation between radius and height of the cone that is one part second part which is kind of important to understand is it says find the rate of change of height when the ice cream cone is half full so when the ice cream cone is half full what is the height you need to figure that out also right let's say this is the ice cream cone for us height of 8 centimeters and radius of 2 centimeters. So we'll say radius of 2 centimeters and this height is, is 8 centimeters, right? So from here to here. Now to find relation between R and height, we can take any particular instance. So at that instance, let R be the radius and H be the height. In that case, we know that the ratio of radius to height, it will be, these two are similar triangles. You see the big triangle? Let me la la label them. O, let's say this is A and this is B. And this point, this is C and this is D. So in that case, you notice that triangle OBA is similar to triangle OCD, right? Since they are similar, the sides are parallel angles, you know, it's 90 degrees, whatever. You can say that the ratio of sides is constant. So we can write height over radius for the smaller triangle is equal to 8 over 2 which is 4. So we can write radius in terms of height. So we get height over 4 as radius r. So that becomes a relation which we are going to use. Now second is let's now figure out what is the volume of a cone. So volume of a cone is one third pi r square h. Now, if we are given that the radius equals to 2 centimeters and height equals to 8, then the maximum volume is how much? Let's figure that out. So with this dimension, volume is 1 over 3 pi r square means 2 square times height. So let's calculate this value. <clears throat> height is uh, 8. I should write 8 here. I mean, I just wrote the formula. Let me write here. So volume maximum, let's write, which is 1 third of pi. Radius is 2. So let me write 2 squared times height of 8. Right? So let's calculate how much is this. Well, we can write in numbers, 4 times 8 is 32. So let's write this as 32 over 3 pi. That becomes the maximum volume of this particular cone. So half of this volume will be how much? Half of the maximum volume is going to be half of 32 over 3 pi, which is which is 16 over 3 pi. Okay, so that is the half volume. Now, we have also found a relation between height and radius. So let's find volume in terms of height and then we'll figure out for this volume what should be the height. Is it okay? So let's find the relation now between volume and height. So we know volume is one third of pi r square. So instead of r, I'll write 
h over 4 square times h right so just substitute this value of r here let's call this as equation 1 and we are substituting that in our original equation now I'm writing this as 2 so we sub 1 in 2 so that gives us volume as uh, 1 over 3 pi that becomes h cube over 4 square is 16 or we can write pi over 48 h cube so that becomes the volume now we need to figure out what is the half volume what is the height for half volume right so uh, let me write down height for half volume so uh, we can use this formula we know ha half volume is 16 over 3 pi that is half volume and the formula is pi over 48 h cube so from here we can calculate what height it is right so so let's cross multiply first so we get 16 times 48 over 3 pi and pi cancel and cube root equals to height correct so that should give you this goes to 6 uh, 16 times so we get here uh, cube root of 16 times 16 so 16 times 16 cube root so it is 4 4 4 4 could be written as equals to 4 cube root 4 right so that becomes the height so when the volume is half height is 4 cube root 4 so we say height equals to 4 times cube root of 4 for half volume okay now we can find rate of change at this height correct so we know the formula now volume as a function of height volume as a function of height is given to us as pi over 48 h cube so the derivative with respect to time we say dv over dt will be equals to pi over 48 times 3h square dh dt perfect now we can simplify this and write down what dh dt is so that gives you uh, okay so let me just push this page a bit here or we can take it on the right side we'll take it on the right side and we can write dh dt from here as equal to now you could simplify this 3 times 16 is 48 right 1 and 6 16 so let me write here first pi over 16 h square dh dt is dv dt right so dh dt is equal to you get 16 over pi h square times dv dt now what we know we know dv dt is 4 centimeter cube per second so let's substitute these values dv dt is 4 and h is 4 cube root 4 so we can substitute this and find dh dt so dh dt for half volume is equal to 16 over pi height square that means 4 cube root 4 square times dv dt which is 4 so when you square this you get 16 over pi now 4 square is 16 and there you get 4 to the power of 
2 over 3, right? 2 over 3. And here we get 16 times 4 in the numerator. So you can cancel 16 and 16. And what you get here as equal to 4 over, we get, uh, so you could write this as 4 to the power of 1 minus 2 over 3 over pi. Is it okay? That is minus, so 1 minus uh, 2 over 3, which gives you 4 to the power of 3 minus 2, which is 1 over 3, cube root of 4 over pi. And so our answer is uh, negative, right? 3 minus, uh, this is minus 2 over 3. So 3 minus 1 is cube root of 4 over pi. So, uh, we could calculate the decimal value of this, which is uh, cube root of 4 equals to divided by pi which is equal to 0 0.505 right so so that becomes the rate of change for the height at this instance of time okay the units will be height centimeters per second so that becomes the answer for our case so you could write cube root of 4 over pi or 0.505 centimeters per second. So I hope that is clear to you, right? So it's kind of interesting that when we say that they find the rate of change of height when ice cream cone is half full, don't go for height of four, okay? Half of height. It's a cone, not a cylinder. So that makes sense. So keep that in mind. So I hope you understand and appreciate the solution. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.